Hey everyone, it's Connor here from Durham Hearing Specialists. I hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. We've got quite a nice case here. This is uh, a suction that I struggled with to some degree and I thought it would be interesting to share because um, I think this is probably a good example of you know lazy technique and uh, on this channel um, I like to show good videos and also bad videos as well. Um, and I've shown, I've shown other videos before where the procedure hasn't gone overly well. Um, and this is sort of one of those. Um, so the patient doesn't get injured in any way, shape or form. But um, what we have here is this relatively small plug, but it's right up against the eardrum. So it's, the patient has used a cotton bud and rammed the wax right up against the drum. And those types of cases are can be difficult, but for the most part, I looked at this case and thought, meh, easy job. Um, but I was wrong, you know, it, it, it was actually quite difficult, it took me quite a while. And you can see here, the plug is kind of loose, but it's really anchored into place. Um, and that's because just in front of the eardrum, there are these recesses and trenches where wax can kind of get stuck. Um, but nevertheless, I've dealt with lo loads of these cases before. So my usual kind of technique is just, you know, crank up the machine a little bit, flood the ear with olive oil, and it'll just come out. But, um, so what you'll see me doing here is kind of work on, you know, I've chosen my kind of anchor point, which is the bottom right of the plug. And I've chosen that point because that's the easiest place for me to, to get to. And although it doesn't look like it, it probably will, you'll, you, you won't really be able to, um, to, to see because the, the endoscope is so zoomed in, but it's actually very difficult to maneuver that deep in the ear. Um, so I've, I've chosen my anchor point. Now what I should have done here is I should have just, you know, for, you know, spent 10 seconds just to skim all the way around and loosen the plug up from a different point. And um, you'll see another video where I'm, where I'm actually, you know, describing that technique. I call it the parcel technique. There's another video on the channel where I'm uh, uh, describing it. But you can see here I'm fighting with this plug and the video is edited a little bit, but basically I, I started, I was just fighting with this plug non-stop. And uh, now you can see I'm just kind of going at it from a different angle, trying to loosen it, but it really is wedged into place here. And we're getting a little bit of movement. And now we're starting to see some results, but the, the sort of moral of the story, I suppose, is that I could have done this procedure, you know, in a third of the time, had I just kind of given up on the technique that wasn't working and skimmed around the outside. So uh, more oil in here. And we're just starting to see some movement now. And again, the machine is cranked up fairly high here. It's at about minus 500 millimeters of mercury. And now we have the final result. Moving forward. And there we go. And the idea is, as always, is to, uh, so there's the eardrum right there, that kind of bluish purplish skin. There's a little bit of inflammation back there, but that's most likely due to the, the, the pressure of the plug on the surrounding tissue. And the idea here is to, to you know, clear, clear the canal, but also leave a little bit of wax behind as well to defend the patient from infection. And I don't think the redness or the, the inflammation is due to, to a bacterial infection. Again, I think it's just, you know, a little bit of tissue damage, which has, you know, triggered the inflammation. But uh, fairly nice looking, look, looking eardrum there. And uh, just cleaning around the outside. We'll have another look at the drum before we end the video. So there we go. It's, you know, it's a little bit swollen around the handle of the malleus, but otherwise it's, it's fairly okay. The patient will be fine uh, the next day. So there we go. That's the, uh, the end of the procedure. Um, here's a, a shot of the plug. Um, there we go. It, you know, a very quick one today, but um, you know, I always keep a lookout for these interesting cases where um, I'm using a different tool or a different technique or sometimes when you know, there's something to learn. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. As you can tell, my wrist is better because I'm using the endoscope again. So uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below and I will try my very best to get back to you. And of course, I will see you on the next video.